We will investigate the onload performance of the Axial Flux Permanent Magnets Generator. Create a new study and rename it as a resistive load. Change the analysis type to transient magnetic. In the coupling analysis tab, check first motion coupling. The motion study is set to motion study 1. Select the moving parts as well as the band. Now, copy the parameters of the previous no load study to the created resistive load study. Next step consists in coupling the study to circuit to simulate the resistive load. Under circuit cases folder Right click on the winding folder and select add winding. Right click on the first winding and select add coils to the winding. Add the first wound coil to the first winding by checking the box in the add column. In the same way, create the two remaining windings. Now, add the second wound coil and third wound coil to the second and third windings respectively. Right click on the windings folder and select Add all windings to schematic. Now, grab three resistors from the components list to the schematics. Double click on every resistance and change its value to 5 ohm. Do the same for the two other resistance. Grab the ground from the components list to the schematic. Now, add the wires to the circuit by drawing lines from extremities of one component to the other. Now, right-click on the model and select Run.
Capture the resistive study by dragging it to the three phase axial flux generator model and rename it as capacitive load. Please note that the study parameters are already set and you only need to adjust the circuit to compute the capacitive load. Grab the three windings aside and add three capacitances from the components list to the schematic. Delete the lines between the windings and the aligned resistance by selecting the line and pressing delete from the keyboard. Now, add the wires between them to completely close the circuits. Change the capacitance values to 1 mF. Now, right-click on the model and select Run. Copy the capacitive study by dragging it to the three-phase axial flux generator model and rename it as RLC load. The study parameters are already set and you only need to adjust the circuit to compute the RLC load. Move the three created resistance aside to add the three inductances. Grab three inductances from the components list to the schematic. Delete the wires between the three capacitors and the resistors using delete of the keyboard. Now add the missing wires to close the circuit. Once complete, right-click on the study, then select Run.